How often do you feel grateful for all that you have lived? Do you really pause for a moment in your life to acknowledge your past, your present moment, and envision your future? Connecting our minds to a gratitude state is not only something healthy, but it's also something that will lead you to have a much better human health spiritually healthy and it also aids you into tuning the right frequency in your body to heal several functions that are essential to your well-being additionally is a state that transcends the selfish connection to your own problems and expands you into a higher consciousness with others to allow the most powerful state for human beings, a state of oneness. Whenever we feel gratitude or appreciation for the things that we have lived, for everything that is surrounding us, we are connecting with that higher power, with that source, or as you want to call it, and you synchronize or tune in into that frequency, feeling that you are part of the whole system. Research also indicates that the practice of gratitude can have dramatic and lasting positive effects in a person's life. It can lower blood pressure, improve the immune function, promote happiness and well-being, and spur acts of helpfulness, generosity and cooperation, something that we really need right now now that we are facing the new coming normal and we are still struggling in some countries with new measures to, again, give us a lockdown time. So in order to feel all of this power of gratitude, we really need to acknowledge everything that is doing for us and to step into that place. Gratitude reduces the lifetime risk for depression because it puts you in a different mindset. Anxiety and substance abuse disorders, whether it stems from the acceptance of another kindness, that is one part of the gratitude sphere, and appreciation for the majesty of nature whenever we connect with nature, we are connected with our inner self, with that higher power also, and we synchronize with their energy. Or a recognition of the gifts in our own life. Gratitude will enhance nearly all the spheres of human experience. Whenever we place ourselves in the majesty of this experience that we are living, how can we process all that information and decodify it to experience the different kind of flavors, tastes, and using all our senses to really feel that power, we are grateful. And I think that during these past two years, everything that we have lived has made us more attuned and aware of gratitude if we are still alive, of course, because we can appreciate many things that we have surpassed, that we have overcome, and we have the power to create that synergy and that coherence with other human beings, because gratitude is something that is also infectious and it's healthier for everyone to connect into that rhythm. Gratitude has a dual meaning, a worldly one and a transcendent one. So one is the word, the other one transcends our experience and connects us with all. In its worldly sense, gratitude is a feeling that occurs in interpersonal exchanges when one person acknowledges receiving a valuable benefit from another. So that's one experience when we receive something physically. That is one experience of gratitude. The other one is when we just 
witness something and we realize that we are very lucky to be in this place in this moment right now and we just connect with the present moment. Gratitude is also a cognitive affective state that is typically associated with the perception that one has received a personal benefit that was not intentionally sought after being deserved or earned, but rather because of the good intention of another person. So it is something unexpected that happens in our lives and that we can really connect with it because we are seeing some benefits in our lives. And in spite of not seeing them yet, just placing yourself in that area will make them manifest. The word gratitude is derived from the Latin gratia, which is meaning favor, or gratus, which means pleasing. All derivatives or the root of the word from this Latin language have to do with kindness, generousness, gifts, the beauty of giving and receiving, or getting something for nothing. And we always get something for nothing because we always, when we wake up and open our eyes, we receive a new blank slate to create our day, to create our experience, and we have a new reset button that we can start really applying that word. Much of the human life is about giving, receiving, and repaying the benefits and kindness that we have received. In this sense, gratitude functions to help regulate the relationships and solidifying, affirming, and strengthening them. So when we are in that grateful state, it's easier to connect with people, it's easier to see the value of others, and when we just really witness all the process that have behind in anything that we experience, we can connect with more and more people. For instance, just imagine when you are eating a grape, when you visualize the grape and the whole process that it has to suffer in order to be in your table, you start connecting the things that happen to the process to grow that fruit and to experience the logistics, the transport system, the growth in the earth, everything that has to happen so that you could experience the flavor of it in your table and really experience the nutrients. That is something called mindful eating. So in every experience we have, we can start just going backwards into how can we get such an amazing experience. And that's the way we connect much better with the feeling of oneness. Feelings of gratitude are anchored in two essential pieces of information processed by any individuals. One, an affirming of goodness or the good of things in my own life. And the second, the recognition that the sources of this goodness lie at least partially outside myself. So that is the logistic chain or all the cascade of events that have to happen so that you could experience um, that sense of awe in nature, of flavoring something in your table, of having materially something in your house or simply the connection with someone when you experience that uh, acceptance with your friends, with your family, with your loved ones. So in any kind of realm, in any kind of experience, we can connect with gratitude just thinking in the story of the other person to connect with you, to give you something, the time, the experience, the talk, the nature, the food, the health. Now more than ever, we are more connected to our health because we could really value what it was not 
having it. And many people that suffer from this COVID experience were also really, really grateful to be still alive and to still have the experiences of life. So in this season, in this time, the most powerful moment that we can appreciate and we can give to others is just being in a state of gratitude and appreciation for everything that happens. Thank you very much for connecting with me. If you like the message, if you think it can resonate with people now more than ever, please help me to forward the message to other people. Thank you. Have a wonderful afternoon and rest of the week. We'll see each other next week. Bye.